All right, here are five things you know to get your day started. Three family members are facing charges in the death of a 10-year-old child in Bangor. Police say the child was brought to the hospital with serious injuries February 18th and died later that day. The child's death was ruled a homicide following an autopsy. The child's father, Joshua Smith, mother, Jem Bean, and grandmother, Misty Latourette, all charged with a depraved indifference murder, all of them being held at the Penobscot County Jail. Police in Waterville say the person who was found dead on a school bus on Monday shot himself. Police received calls on Monday morning about a body slumped over the steering wheel of a school bus. Waterville schools canceled classes while police investigated. The man was identified as a 24 year old from Naples. Police say he had no known connection to the Waterville School Department. Border Patrol agents in Aroostook County say they have arrested three Chinese nationals trying to cross into the country illegally. According to a post on the agency's Facebook page, Fort Fairfield Border Patrol agents found the men after noticing suspicious activity along the border during nighttime. They announced the arrests yesterday, adding that another Chinese national from New York was also arrested. Thousands of Mainers are starting the day without power. Central Maine Power is reporting now 25,000 outages, most of them in New York County. That's up from 17,000 just half an hour ago. Verson estimates 4,300 customers are in the dark for them. Yeah, and at least three ski mountains in Maine are going to be closed today because of weather. Saddleback will be closed in Rangeley, Mount Abram, and Greenwood. Pleasant Mountain, Bridgeton all announced the closures yesterday. Staff at all three mountains say it's because of the strong winds and the temperature shifts. Both Saddleback and Pleasant Mountain are planning to be reopening tomorrow. And we just touched on those power outages, Todd, and they have gone up yeah, about 8,000 mm -hmm. in the last like hour. And mm -hmm. now it's shifted because it started in Cumberland County with the most. Now York County is, seems to be seeing the brunt. So. Yeah, and I think, you know, as people wake up, they, they kind of, they send a note to CMP or Versa and, hey, we, we're without power, so Us those too. numbers kind of creep up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so here's a look at that seven day. It is going to stay windy most of the day, probably hamper you know, the restoration effort a little bit here. Highs only in the 20s. Tomorrow, 30s with sunshine. And then we go through a long stretch of temps that are again above where they should be in the 40s, but I don't see a whole lot of sunshine there. I don't. <sighs> okay. Oh, well.